Hello everyone, and welcome to my ranking of the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Firstly, if you have an issue with the text-to-speech voice, then shoo, go away. If you're going to stay then I hope you understand that this is my opinion. I've only seen them once and my opinion could change on rewatch. Let's begin. At last place is How to Train Your Dragon 3. I really tried to love How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World. But I just liked it. There's excellent narrative cohesion between this one and the second film which was nice. It just feels like there was a lot of wasted potential here. For starters, the hidden world is barely part of the plot, only acting as a place for the village to get to. Second. The villain was good, but lacked any presence due to everyone treating him as a joke. Plus, the side characters are at their absolute worst here due to them getting larger roles. On the other hand, the flashback scenes with Hiccup and his father were really well written and emotional. Next, Toothless and Hiccup's friendship is pushed to its limits due to the female Toothless providing a love. Interest for him, and honestly seeing Toothless goofing around is the best part of the film. Along with the amazing scenes with Hiccup struggling to let go of Toothless, and his struggles with leadership. But that doesn't excuse how boring this movie is at points, the second act felt rushed and the final battle was really short. Honestly I'm so conflicted about this film. Maybe on rewatch I'll see. What everyone else sees. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is, fine. It's good. Five years after the events of the first film, Drago Bloodbust is building a dragon army to conquer the world because he's evil. Yeah that's about as deep as the villain goes. And Hiccup and Toothless have to stop him. Accompanied by some impressive visuals along the way. During their journey, Hiccup discovers his mother is still alive for reasons. Unknown to us. Honestly Hiccup's mother isn't that great of a character, all she does is showcase where Hiccup got his dragon bonding skills from. My favorite character from the last film, Stoic, is still great, and the scenes between him and his wife are excellent, even if they do only last 4 minutes. And his death was heartbreaking. The final battles are stunning, without a doubt. But, unfortunately all of the side characters are so annoying that it's hard not to deduct points. Honestly the movie could have been better if they had just stuck to one plot line instead of two. At number one we have movie number one. To be completely honest, I don't think this movie is the cinematic masterpiece everyone else seems to believe How to Train Your Dragon 1 is, but this movie is really damn good despite that. How to Train Your Dragon follows a young viking hiccup, who doesn't wish to kill dragons, and in a turn of fate, befriends a night fury, the most vicious dragon of all of them. Words cannot describe how much heart went into making this film, in particular the unlikely friendship between Hiccup and Toothless. Every time they're on screen together you just know it's going to be a well written scene, and to be honest, the scenes of them training and trying to become friends were my favorite parts of the movie. Also, I found myself really enjoying Hiccup's father. Stoic, his character arc is very reminiscent of King Triton from the Little Mermaid trilogy, going from the fierce ruthless viking leader, to an understanding father who only wants what's best for his son. Let's not forget the stunning visuals that accompany every flight scene, and especially the ones from the final battle, honestly some of DreamWorks best. However, I can't ignore just how annoying all the side characters are, and honestly they distracted me from the final battle. Not to mention, Hiccup himself is pretty annoying at times. But overall, this is a movie for everyone and you're guaranteed to enjoy it.